Following a Stop Start 2022 campaign, a busy off-season for the Tigers has media outlets buzzing about a potential return to the top four this season. The arrivals of Tim Taranto and Jacob Hopper on seven-year deals from GWS have provided the team with much-needed midfield reinforcements. So after their engine room studded for much of last year, have Richmond now fixed their midfield woes? And why did they even need to in the first place? Since Damian Hardwick's characteristically high-pressure, chaotic brand of football emerged in 2017, the Tigers have spurned the conventional wisdom that football games are won and lost at the coalface of stoppages. For the past five seasons, they've ranked in the AFL's bottom two for stoppage clearances, trended downwards in contested possessions, and never ranked higher than 10th in disposals per game. This game plan, however, has delivered one minor premiership and three flags, with success based almost entirely around interceptions, a statistic they've consistently dominated. Using a combination of relentless pressure on the ball carrier, and a spare Alex Rand still in Grimes or Nick Floston hanging around to intercept down the line, the Tigers often didn't care if their opposition had the ball, confident in their ability to win it back and launch merciless counter-attacks. While this approach worked remarkably well for four seasons, the tide has recently turned, missing finals altogether in 2021 and losing the elimination final in 22. In that latest loss to Brisbane, the Tigers' midfield deficiencies were on full display, as Lockie Neal racked up a game-high 39 disposals and a staggering 15 clearances, seemingly untouchable as he led the Lions to a two-point win. As Richmond's best stoppage midfielder Dion Prestia left the game at half-time, the Tigers' leading possession getter on the night would be Toby Nankervis on 26, with Jack Ross, their leading midfielder, on 23. This performance, though, was not without precedent. The Tigers' midfield was utterly smashed in their round one loss to Carlton. Clayton Oliver collected 41 disposals against them in Melbourne's round six win, and Jai Simpkin and Luke Davies Uniac dominated as the Tigers were beaten by last place North Melbourne in round 18. These patterns have been apparent for some time, but the arrival of reinforcements from Sydney's West signals a shift in the Tigers' mindset these midfield losses are no longer sustainable. Part of this may be due to a shift in the league's meta. Much of Melbourne's success combined an intercept-heavy style with a lethal edge around stoppages. Generally, teams are now looking to use the space afforded by the stand rule to play faster, more direct football, making it harder to get an interceptor to as many contests. This was exemplified by Chris Scott's adjustment to overhaul Geelong's previously slower game style last season. Combine this with the fact defenders Rance and David Asprey have now both retired and Dylan Grimes has crossed 30, suddenly, allowing your opponents to attack you feels a lot less favourable if you're Damian Hardwick. This shift may also be an acknowledgement of the ageing core that has sustained the Tigers through this period. Dion Prestia and Trent Cochin, who led the team in average clearances last year, are both over 30 themselves. Across the board, no Tiger averaged more than 25 touches last season, that same midfield duo also ranking first and third in average disposals, with Jaden Short splitting the middle and defenders Vlostone and Rioli rounding out the top five. Dustin Martin remains the wild card as he seeks to put injury troubles behind him but at 31, it's likely his midfield minutes will remain limited. Hopper and Taranto then represent much-needed, ready-made midfield reinforcements. Their stoppage clearance numbers would have put them below only Prestia and Nankervis, a punt road last season. Taranto's 25.4 disposals a game would have ranked first, and Hopper also adds a handy two-cent clearance as a match, an area where the Tigers, despite their midfield woes, actually ranked second last year. This leads us to the puzzling paradox and redeeming factor of the Richmond midfield. They rank last for stoppage clearances and second for centre clearances. No player embodied this discrepancy more than Shea Bolton, who in Martin's mould splits much of his time between centre bounces and the forward line. Hopper and Taranto then 
should be used to reinforce those stoppages around the ground, compensating for these deficiencies and critically, allowing Richmond to maintain the flexibility they afford their most dangerous players. Neither are prolific possession getters, but they likely won't have to be. If the Tigers can stem the bleeding from stoppages, they can also retain their low possession direct brand of football in transition, while also curbing the influence of opposition stars around the ball. At 25 and 26, they'll both be over 30 by the time their contracts end, but over those seven years, they should give the Tigers their prime of their footballing careers, lessen the load on those aging stars, and allow promising midfield talents such as Tyler Sonsi and Thompson Dow more time to mature. This solidity, however, has incurred a heavy draft price. Richmond gave up a future first and downgraded a second round pick to a third for Hopper and dealt out picks 12 and 19 for Taranto. But having pulled the pin on recent prospects Riley Collier Dawkins, Sydney Stack and Will Martin, and Jack Ross experiencing an often promising yet inconsistent start to his career, there was a clear desire to solve the problem now and a belief that the best solutions would be found external. So while it's too early to tell if Hardwick will abandon his intercept-based style entirely, these arrivals will provide his midfield with some sorely needed stability for the foreseeable future, and lay the foundations in the pursuit of a final run of glory for their aging stars. If you've got an aspect of your team you think we should take a look at this year, let us know in the comments and be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more footy content.